this is Stephanie from Rapid Resizer and today I'm going to show you guys how to enlarge a pattern and then transfer it onto canvas for a painting project. So this is really helpful if you're a beginner at painting and you don't want to draw your pattern by hand or if you just want to make sure that the dimensions of your image are perfect. Um, that's another good reason to use this method. So I'm going to start by clicking on the free designs on Rapid Resizer and I'm just going to use this tulip pattern for my painting. So I'm going to customize and print. Um, if you don't have the premium version of Rapid Resizer, um, you still have access to all of the free patterns, so you can do that if you want. So I'm just going to crop out the border of my pattern here, and you'll see that it's already assumed that that's what I want to do here. So I'm just going to apply crop, and I will turn my picture into a line drawing to save ink. Okay, so my canvas that I'm using is 16 by 20 inches. But you know what? Oops. I'm just going to make it 15 just so that I have a little space around the edges of my canvas. So this is my enlarged pattern. You can see that it will be print as four sheets. Um, I'll just show you guys a quick preview of the PDF. Um, so yeah, I'm going to print this. Here is the, how it's going to print. Okay. So I'm just going to print this and then I'm going to use packing tape to tape the pieces of paper together just so they don't budge. And then I'm going to tape the top two corners of my pattern to my canvas. And then underneath I'm going to put four pages of carbon paper um, face down on the canvas. And then I'm just going to trace over my design using a pencil, you can use pen, whatever you want, and then you will see that your pattern has transferred fully onto your canvas. So this is one of my favorite um, image transfer methods using carbon paper. It's super easy, um, it transfers on canvas, um, it transfers on wood, um, there's a lot of things you can do with it. So it's a great um, transfer method that I like to use a lot. So once you've transferred your image onto your canvas, um, I just started by blocking out each shape with a basic color. So I, I painted all of my leaves just a plain green color, um, whichever colors you want to use. And then from there, I just kind of built layers of different shades of that color over um, the original color just to get a little bit of dimension and um, light detail. So, but you can use whatever um, painting style or techniques you'd like. Um, I'm not an expert painter by any means, so this craft is really helpful for using a template and getting the basic shapes and everything perfect for your painting. So if you guys want to try this, um, there are instructions on the blog as well, um, if you want to check that out, as well as lots of other crafts. Um, so please like this video if you found it helpful or if you want to give it a try. Um, comment below if you have any questions about the software or the craft. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest as well. So thank you guys for watching and have an amazing day.